Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in here on Raw Stat Reviews. Today we have an XM piece on the review table. This of course is a new entry into my Samurai line. This is Scarecrow Batman Samurai XM Studios 1 for scale. Amazing storytelling piece. Really, really glad I picked him up. Um, I'm collecting the whole line as you may well know from my channel if you watch my previous videos i have all the pieces released up to now and this is the newest entry i've already saw him um, at the xm shop in singapore back in may this year i was very impressed by the prototype um, that was displayed in the shop and now that i have him here on my review table and i can take a closer and more thorough look at it, um, I'm even more impressed by the piece and by the details. So this is really from the base up to the figure, um, a fantastic piece and I really cannot understand why this didn't get the same love as other pieces in the line, at least in um, my reception of it um, when this was released and I read the comments people were a bit um, I don't know underwhelmed or at least not so excited with that concept um, but I have to say that I really really love it so let's um, start off with the base here I have a couple of switch out parts but this is um, one of the best constellations here with that head sculpt and um, the skull in his left hand and then the, the fear toxin hand here on the on the right and um, but let's start off with the base as always so we've got this um, stone like uh, very steampunk um, but also samurai like um, statue here stone statue of a demonic batman as you can see so here's the batman cowl with the ears was very samurai-esque here um, with that with that mask and um, we have his hands crawling up here um, with the wristband here with the skulls and we have the batman fins here um, from the gauntlets and um, then here the shoulder pads and then of course all these fear toxin uh, coming out of that that statue so this is really a nightmare batman statue if you will here we have another hand which is just losing in the air um, coming out of that smoke i'm um, giving a even more fearsome gruesome effect and all around here in the back um, of course you have the sub base with the stone structure which is very good um, we've got these wooden structures here from kind of a Tory gate, um, which is also something that you see on other of these um, Batman Samurai pieces. Here you have a Batman logo, and then everywhere this fear toxin. Here you have a little centipede um, on the front of the base, and some kind of rock brick parts here which are looking very good also the little ornaments here on that batman piece look really really good paint job of course perfect um, as always with the bits and pieces then moving up the statue here um, you have a lot of details here on his feet of scarecrow of course he's very skinny um, with a very kind of uh, worn and self-made outfit here so traditional uh, Japanese wooden sandals and then these um, improvised bandage socks here uh, and then moving up he has some kind of um, wrapped around uh, shin guards uh, with knee pads here um, which look like a kind of straw material um, then his legs are very skinny, as I said, um, very worn pants 
here. Sorry for that. Let me drop this in there again. Uh, where you worn pants, and then um, that moves up in kind of a skirt look here, a reddish, uh, with some loincloth, uh, um, traditional Japanese things here in green and um, gold color, which look very, very good. Same on this knee, and he's standing here on the fear toxin, which is very cool. He has a lot of gadgets here, so some kind of um, and of bottles, and then here too, these pumpkins, uh, which look very cool. He's got this wolf mask, um, which looks also very, very nice. Super detailed. Sorry, I hate my iPhone camera. Um, and then here more of these, these bottles, and in the back he has these big fear toxin. Um, of canisters that looks a little bit like <laughs> the canisters that Bane is wearing um, with those yellow tubes here um, but in this case this is of course fear toxin for scarecrow um, these parts are very light so don't worry about them um, very hollow and light plastic material and here you've got his fear toxin cannon, if you will, um, of course, very nicely uh, detailed here with that Batman miniature Batman kind of mask again, demonic, um, very reminiscent of the one that is on the base. And sorry, I forgot to put in a hand here. I just realized, so let's give him this hand so um then you can see that this gun is wrapped around his arm here and then these hands are very very skinny you can see all the veins and ligaments and everything here and uh, yeah you have some fear toxin coming out of that fear toxin cannon which looks very very cool then sorry camera playing tricks again so we have the upper body here which looks very nice um, so we have the shoulder pads here and these little straps hanging down from the shoulder pad then we have here this collar which is kind of a pearl um, jade pearl thing here and um, check out the portrait which looks amazing all those details really really cool Zoom in there a little bit for you. Um, so T is the eyes, very open. This mask, of course, um, wrapped around his face. And then this cool helmet, um, which looks super, super nice. Samurai style. Look. Helmet thing here. And very nice colors, of course, here. Got, picking up the green from the um, from, from those parts. So that's really cool. And then this arm looks super nice as well. And this ends up here. Oop. You have to push in the hands a little bit, otherwise it might fall out. Um, and you have this skull here with fear toxin coming out of it. Looking very, very cool and hanging here on that little wooden thing here. Um, yeah, so fantastic, fantastic piece, really. Let's get you a 360 here. Of, um, so he looks also very, very cool here from the side. Launching forward. Really cool. Back view. And then front view again. So we've got a, some switch out hands here. So um, we've got this one here with the, um, with this kind of um, sickle. So that's a right hand switch out, I think. So let's try to remove this, whoops. 
So you really have to be careful here with those because I think they are magnetic, but they are not so strong, to be honest. These magnets here. So let's get this arm in. Yep. So you can give him the sickle here. Um, so he's even more weaponized with the sickle and the toxin gun. Um, which looks cool. I think I like this arm more than the other. So that's nice. And then here for, for this one here, for the skull, you can remove the skull. And then you can basically just give him here a kind of very creepy hand where he has one of his fingers in bandages and he's just like, um, yeah, like pointing down with those with those hands, making a, a strange little voodoo move or so. Very very creepy. Also very cool. I think I prefer the skull to be honest, just to have something in his hands. Um, but that looks very very cool as well. So let's um, remove that head for a second, and then we can use this head. So this uh, collar you can use, but you don't have to, of course, if you don't want to. Um, so that is, whoops, no, sorry, that's optional. Um, let's put that head in here without the collar. So, and that is the more gruesome head, to be honest, um, more like horror. So you can see his crazy teeth here um, behind that full straw mask without any eye, without any eyes, just black holes in there. Um, so that looks very, very cool as well. Um, the problem with that one is, um, so if you have um, a look here from straight on, um, you will not see his, his eyes more or less because they are hidden by this um, very nice uh, rice worker hat um, so you would like to see him more from below so it would be better to position him high if you look if you take this option here but also very very cool um, head sculpt and overall a fantastic addition to the line as I said so I'm curious what you say about this piece guys um, let me know your comments or your thoughts in the comments down below and uh, please like this video if you have liked what you've seen. And of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss out on any videos being uploaded here very soon again on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.